In other news, you're following tonight at 7. New charging documents alleged technology links three suspects to the murder of a Parkville High School student. Back in April, 17 year old Elias Saislak was shot and left to die behind a Baltimore County shopping center. Investigators say the teen was set up in a robbery. WJZ is live tonight. Christina Mendez is combing through the documents. And, Christina, what more are you learning about the lead up to his murder? Stefan and Nikki, what I can tell you right now is that investigators say cell phone records show those suspects communicating just minutes before this murder happened and in the days following. But what remains unclear tonight is who exactly fired that fatal shot taking Seslak's life. The third suspect accused of orchestrating a robbery in April that ended in the murder of 17 year old Elias Seslak is back in Baltimore County after U.S. Marshals say he ran away to nearby West Virginia. 18 year old Bryson Butterfly allegedly conspired with 32 year old David Lofton and a 17 year old to set up Seslak. Investigators say phone call records, corresponding tower pings, and security camera footage put the trio together just before the murder, right after fleeing the scene, and communicating in the days after. Charging documents show Lofton admits to carrying out the robbery, but claims he never saw who had the gun. WJZ went to Seslak's funeral in May, where we learned the Parkville High School senior had a love for baseball, crabbing, and was an avid collector of Hot Wheels. So Butterfly right now is being held at the Baltimore County Detention Center. He was extradited again from West Virginia. U.S. Marshals do tell us that he was actually a jockey at one of those locations. Information led them there, ultimately taking him into custody. I'm reporting live at 7 tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC.